guys, Murloc68. Hope everybody's doing well today. Got a Sergeant Asa ah, boy. Uh, cylinder here. So, not done many of these. Done a few sergeants, but uh, this is one amongst many in the heap here. So let's see. Let's see. Okay, that looks to work okay. Seems to work okay in both directions. Let's see what's involved here. If uh, we can get it open, maybe. Here we go. Sergeant Asa Abboy. Click out of six. Okay, there's a click out of one. I think most would agree they're notoriously tough locks to pick, great tolerances. There's a click out of two. So I suspect I might be here a while. Now my initial run through wherever we're at, a minute, minute and a half. Nothing to write home about as far as action, um, movement on the core. Let's go over to pin six. We are a six pinner. There's a click there. Let's come back to pin one here. Let's check that out. It's kind of mushy pin two. Didn't like that. Did not feel So, first things first, I'm going to lift these up because I do not like the fact that the lock is turning. I was trying to um, I had the body wedged, but this time I'm going to wedge it between the uh, the Bible. That should give me that should give me uh Yeah, it seems pretty free-flowing. Let's try again. Maybe we'll try clockwise this time. Uh, what do we got here? Let's try that. couple of things when you're picking uh, any lock I guess that you don't know anything about tension um, after you start playing around and determining if you can what kind of pins we're dealing with for example standard you might want to be using a little heavier tension 
And if you're doing serrated, you know that that heavy tension is not going to work for you. more slop going clockwise than there is counterclockwise. I'm going to lean towards that heavy tension again. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Let's see if we get anything. Five is binding. Feels like standard pins, guys. Feels like standard pins. That's what I'm sensing so far. Pick up my goddamn pick. Okay. So let's go right to the back. Click there out of six. Four. Three. Two. Let's try one. Let's see if we get anything. Nothing. Definitely leaning towards the standard pins now. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do I use some super, super heavy tension I'm going to repurpose this pick here
try do or die here. So I'm gonna go extremely heavy tension. See if we can break something here. Okay, that's one, two, nothing on three, four, five. Let's come back up to one here. some clicks now but this tension is really heavy which I'm suspecting we have standard pins here and ah, there we go so I was able to get it so <clears throat> I mean it was a thought that I was dealing with standard pins so that's why I really cranked the tension and uh, this is a 50 thousandths pry bar so we're able to get it open guys that's it I'm gonna gut it for you it felt like to me that once I started to really reef on that tension you were getting definite clicks like you were bullying those pins and um, instead of getting that mushy feeling I was getting prior so let's get into this now and see what we got uh, okay We've got a bastard of a clip here. That's strange. And that clip doesn't even. That clip does not want to move, guys. I'm wondering why. we have to suffer to pick it now we gotta suffer to figure out why this clip doesn't come off uh, man that's nasty Funny that clip looks like it's fairly loose. It's not coming out. It's not. Uh, it's not making me happy at all.
can't seem to get anything in there to release that. That's the second thing I've bent, trying to get this clip off, just doesn't look like it wants to come out. It's probably going to be something very stupid, but it looks like an E-clip to me, not a C-clip. sure is man that ever my apologies guys this is the first time I've worked on this particular one and it is a nasty nasty e-clip so let's see if I can get this done a little quicker than uh, it appears that the um, possibly the pick Some great tolerances there. Trying to squeeze this in there. Let's see how this goes. Let's see. Oh yeah. Well, I haven't done one of these in a while. So, chalk this up to disaster. Alright. So now, what we're going to do Okay, so we're doing all right. We're doing all right. This is uh, one, two, spring one, spring two. Let's see if I can get at least one thing right here. All right, we'll hold that for a second. So let's take this now and see. How we do for that's all process of illumination here. You can always use a good gutting disaster. Paul Springett isn't watching this one because this one could cost me for a long time. What the hell did I just do? Uh, Alright. Put that one there. And that didn't work. That didn't work. And that didn't work. So now. a key pin okay one hour later there's our key pins guys everything had to be picked As you guys can see, please keep the laughter down. I don't need any more distractions. Ha ha ha, look at that. Look at that. This is brand new. I don't even know where the hell this came from. That is a long gatekeeper. Alright. 
Now back to our regularly scheduled program. And I knew that the shim was tight fitting. So I decided, ah, what the hell, let's try to run it through the garden anyway. And uh, basically got slapped. Right, a little slap never hurt anybody. There we go. All right. All standard pins, guys. So the decision, um, for those of you that are new to the channel, I went with the heavy tension and a heavy duty pick to bully those pins into position. And sure enough, we got the open. I think we should bring this back. What do you think? And there's your problem there, why the shim wouldn't go through. Alright, I guess I was out of focus there as well. Great video, great video. Alright. So all standards, guys. Okay, as you guys can see. Um, video is already long, so I'm going to show you where the shim got stuck in the... Uh, problem there with getting the shim in there and there's the nasty nasty e-clip that took forever to get out just don't understand these clips and finally we're gonna get to the key that's pretty nasty so you've got a max cut in position three right there you've got a one cut and a zero cut uh, on uh, position six so hopefully you enjoyed this video guys on this sergeant asa abloy six pinner disastrous gut disastrous c clip remover but that's why we do it raw footage yeah. patience practice perseverance guys thanks for sticking by and i'll get ready for all the uh comments to go with a video like this. Stay well.